Well, here it is. The 10th of February. And I'm walking along the creek. Going up here to cross it. And I'm not standing more than five yards to a dead 10-pointer. I'm going to examine this a little more. One, two, three, four. Well, I guess an eight-pointer. That uh, looks to me like that deer has been there quite a while. Uh, a long time. That could have been it's amazing it's not chewed up. But it's perfect eight pointer. Uh, you can notice it's been chewed on extensively. Uh, it's laying right here. Well, I think there, there are some bones over here. Move over here. Yeah, there are some more leg bones. Now those, <laughs> that could be a whole different deer there. Oh, that's the rear legs of it. So that could be the front of it, the rib cage. Uh, yeah. But those bones are still red there. So. Look, they really chewed the nose off of that, and that deer is laying right by that big tree, which is more, no more than 10 yards away. Oh, yeah, and here, here, here's another leg over here. This must be a front leg. Yeah, you can see it's got the shoulder blade attached. Yeah. Well, it all comes down to that word. I've been walking for three hours and I um, hate to find a dead head, but uh, claim it. Now, you remember in Iowa, to claim that, you have to call your DNR uh, officer and claim it, and then they'll come out and tag it. Now I've got to emphasize this to you all. And I see this quite a bit on YouTube. People find dead heads. Well, you better take pictures of it where you found it, because in Iowa, this head, dead head, you can't have it legally in your possession unless the DNR officer in your area, he will come out and don't think he's going to drop, stop, roll and run, but he's going to be there as fast as he can and, and put a tag on your um, dead head. But you can't have them dead heads in your possession without the yellow tag on them today. Uh, that was a new rule they put in last year, I believe, or two years ago. So anyhow, I, I'll take that out. I got documentation how I found it with the video. Take, you all got those smartphones. Make sure you take plenty of pictures how you found it. So there's no doubt about it. And like I said, this is February 10th. So uh, um, first human hand. This is the 2021-2022 Rules and Regulations book. And this pertains to shed hunting. It is permissible for people to hunt shed, shed antlers. Shed antlers are antlers that have naturally fallen from a white-tailed deer. Shed antlers can be collected on public land and including state parks. 
permission must be granted from the landowners on private land. Antlers, now this is what's important. Antlers that are still attached to the skull, just like this deer that you see before you. Antlers that are still attached to the skull or any other part of the deer can only be possessed with the approval and tag from an Iowa DNR conservation officer. That's the law right there. So that's the law right there. It's on page 49 in this book. It's always been the law. You can't pick those deadheads up and think you're above the law because you, at that time, are breaking the law. So get an appointment made. Get a, like I say, take pictures of the head, situation where you found it, or call your uh, local game warden, find out what his protocol is and, and before you bring it out of the woods. And uh, some may want you to leave it right there, but with the pictures and the cell phone and the date and everything that you, you can get, as um, long as they know how you came about it. But they will come out and give you a tag and put it on the antler. But if you don't have that tag, if you have a deadhead in your possession, then you're breaking the law. And that's not cool. So you know the laws now here in Iowa. And it's like I say, it's on page 49. So stay legal. Like I said, sheds are legal. Deadheads are illegal until you get that tag on them.